Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Josh Halter from The Bio Dude. Uh, you can visit my website, thebiodude.com. Visit me on Facebook and Instagram. Definitely subscribe to me on YouTube. So today, I'm gonna go over um, my Bio Dude Universal Hybrid Fruit Fly Media. I'm gonna talk about what makes it so unique, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to use my media and, and talk about how to dust your fruit flies when it comes to feeding your poison dart frogs, mantellas, and other small reptiles that need, or insects that need fruit flies. Um, so, so the very first thing with my media is that this is my proprietary blend. Uh, I love to use that word because there, there really isn't a media like it. Uh, uh, I, I use all organic ingredients um, and uh, I have sold last year in 2016 alone over 2,700 pounds of media, of the universal media. And the year before that, I sold over 1,500 pounds of the universal media when I was Genesis Exotics. Since then, it is the exact same product with a little bit different branding and a little bit more clear of an explanation so you guys can see what makes this product so unique. So, when I am making my fruit fly culture, I typically have an empty 32 ounce deli cup. You can use a mason jar as well with a specialized lid. There's a couple different out ways that you can go. Mason jars save you a little bit more money long term and are more ecologically friendly. So with the media, um, you can go um, two different ways. You can use a third of a cup of media to a half a cup of water um, for a culture that's only going to last two weeks after the first boom which is when you should throw them out anyway, I'll get into that. Um, or you can go a half a cup to two thirds of a cup to get a little bit longer of a, of a life out of your culture, um, of about three and a half to four and a half weeks. So in this, I have exactly a half a cup of media. So I'm dumping the half a cup of the media at the bottom, um, and then I am gonna take two thirds of a cup of, of hot water. Dump it in, you stir it. Now, if you don't really feel like stirring, you can just shake it like this. Now, what's gonna happen is it's gonna, it, it, it's gonna solidify. It takes about 35 seconds to do that. And you also wanna make sure that you get, you don't have any dry stuff left on the side uh, because moisture content distributed throughout the culture is one of the most important things. Um, because if your culture dries out, it's just going to crash. So, um, as you can see here, the media is starting to, um, you know, do that. You know, that's not that, you know, fantastic. So, as far as that goes, that's the step. From there, you put in your surface media, which is, which is this is Excelsior. A lot of people use Excelsior. I sell Excelsior. I hate Excelsior. It's messy. Um, sometimes uh, it can start molding just because um, it is a wood. Now, I do use uh, some anti-mold agents in my fruit fly media. However, um, while, it, while it does uh, not ever really mold, a lot of times your mold spores will come from the flies because the spores can stay on the flies and transfer from culture to culture. It is harmless. Uh, typically what will happen uh, if you do have a, a mold outbreak, a little bit of uh, black goo looking like stuff will form around the culture. Sometimes it will be red, um, uh, you know, and that's from the dyes from the Excelsior. And what will happen is, you know, the larva will produce and then they'll break down the mold and then you'll have a perfectly normal culture. But your flies from that generation are still going to have the spores on them. So your culture from your next one will probably do the same thing. So after we have our, our Excelsior in there, um, you take a producing culture. One thing that, <coughs> excuse me, that works great with the universal media is it works for all types of flies. It works for the Hydei, it works for the Melanogaster, it works for your Bruzatis, which is great because you don't have to buy a Hydei media and a Melanogaster media, that's just stupid. Um, I'm just gonna have one solid thing that takes care of everything while providing the essential vitamins, minerals, and nutrients to gut load your flies to give you the best production that you can ask for in a, in a, quick, in a quick time of frame. <coughs> so as you can see here, 
These are um, Heidi eyes. Um, you can see uh, this culture right here was made 15 days ago. It's swarming. I've had to empty it out twice. This culture right here was made around 12 days ago. Um, now, with my fruit flies, uh, with my media, I should say, my melanogaster cycles, so my winglesses, typically eight days. My turkey, Turkish gliders, curly wings, typically nine days. Your Heidi eye and golden Heidi eye were typically around 14 to 15 days from inception to boom, which is really good because uh, it allows you to plan really efficiently. Typically for your fruit fly cultures, you want to keep them um, you know, at moderate heat humidity, around 50 to 70 percent, uh, and you want to keep them in like a storage tub. In a storage tub, um, it's really important that you take care of your cultures with anti mite things such as diatomaceous earth, which you can just sit on the bottom, the powder on the bottom of wherever your culture is sitting. So you take. So what I'm going to do the next step is I'm going to take your fruit fly culture and I'm going to grab my lid. Have that ready. You're going to put the flies at the bottom, and then you're just going to dump. I usually dump about 100 flies um, in, in the culture. You can see what it looks like. Okay. Let it sit for that 13, 14 days until it looks like this. And then you can start feeding from it, and then you can make more cultures from it, like I just showed. Now, when it comes to feeding your reptiles, um, getting the fruit flies out without making a mess can be a big pain in the butt. Um, so I have a, a dusting cup, and I always use uh, the RepCal Calcium Plus, usually for like my lizards and my dark frogs. Um, I do sell this stuff. It's important that you keep it in the fridge. Um, and after you open it, always write the date on the top because you need to replace it every eight months. Because after you, you open it, it slowly loses its efficacy. So you just dump a little bit at the bottom. And then you just put in your fly, you put the flap over, put in some of your flies, stir it around, and you're good. And you can just go ahead and dump them into whatever enclosure that, that you would like. So essentially, with these fruit fly cultures, I don't sell them, um, and I'm not going to sell them because when you ship them, you have a 50% chance of it coming in dead. And it's it's not because of, of something I did wrong. It's because of you're shipping something that has the consistency of a hard applesauce at the bottom being tossed around on a, on a belt all day long. Um, so when ordering online, I always recommend people to get the media kits, and that is what I sell. I sell the kits that you spend a lot less money per culture, usually around 98 cents per culture to $1.50 per culture, um, and you do it yourself once every two weeks. Um, and to me, that's just the, that's just the uh, smart, the smart way to go. So, you know, guys, again, my name is Josh Halter. I am the owner of the BioDude and the creator of Universal Fruit Fly Media, used by some of the largest organizations in the hobby. Thank you very much, guys. Do the vibes.